Our top story at 10. Three men are now facing a murder charge after the sheriff says they shot up an illegal rave. He also says the suspects likely didn't even know the 21 year old woman who was killed. Ken's five reporter Megan Arena joins us live with the possible motive behind this attack. Megan. AC Henry, the sheriff says this all started from a fight inside that party. He says the suspects were upset that they were kicked out. He adds that these illegal parties are risky and have now proven to be deadly. Three friends who were allegedly angry about being tossed from a party are now behind bars. I think they had been drinking. They, they, their courage was up because they were armed and they felt like the man. They were accused in the murder of 21-year-old Desiree Rivera on March 9th at an abandoned dance hall on Old Pearsall Road. Last month, deputies walked who they believe is the gunman in handcuffs, 20-year-old Jonathan Ariola. As Ariola and his friends drove away from the party, deputies say they fired off several shots using a switch that made the gun automatic. They knew exactly what they were going to do. They actually made threats to the security folks that were kicking them out that we're going to switch this place up. The sheriff now believes 19 year old Hector Torres and 20 year old Lorenzo Montez were in that vehicle. Montez was arrested at his home Wednesday while Torres was taken into custody in Missouri, where the sheriff says he was attending a private Christian university on a baseball scholarship. He had a bright future ahead of him. Uh, but to be out at these illegal parties with, you know, weapons and firing in indiscriminately into a building, he ruined a young lady's life. The sheriff says they're getting more calls about these illegal parties where in many instances people have guns and aren't afraid to use them. Recently, we've, we've been handling another one uh, where a young man lost his life uh, several months ago at, a, at, a, at a, an after hours party that took place at a, at a new construction home. He's referring to the murder of 17 year old Landon Reyes of Rock Mill Dam back on August 4th. Sheriff Salazar reminding the community to be vigilant if you notice suspicious partying. It's a scary, scary situation. And, it and regarding the shooting back in March, he believes that there could be two more people inside the vehicle. He says more arrests are to come. He even added that the people that hosted the illegal raid could be held accountable. He says they possibly tampered with evidence. Reporting live from the newsroom, Megan Reyna, Kins 5. Thank you, Megan.